Hello guys and welcome to SVP. Today we're joined by a new project in the shape of a Mini Cooper S R53. So this car's come into us as a bit of an unfinished project, big list of jobs to carry out to it. I'll show you through the parts and the things we've got to get on it. Starting with a new cylinder head. This has all been ported, John Cooper work specification, but slightly bigger on the ports. I'm pretty sure this has got Supertech valves and all the things to go with it. Fitted with a Newman camshaft, spark plugs, uprated, uh, new rod bolts, rod bearings, replace the piston rings at the same time, new crank pulley, John Cooper works, injectors, uh, uh, intercooler cover, sump with a, the baffled sump inside, all the kit there. This is also having the John Cooper works 11% uh, pulley on the supercharger, that'll all be fitted along with all the other John Cooper works kit. Pro alloy coolant tank, orange intake kit, along with a new timing chain, new battery, supercharger will also be serviced, and obviously oil filter, fuel filter, and this is a new thermostat. This is a John Cooper Works, I think this is a mini challenge spec thermostat. So, as I say, quite a lot of stuff to do to it. We'll get started with removing the cylinder head, and then we can pop the pistons out, sump off as well. So that's where we'll start. We'll get on with that now. So I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of the car so you can see what it's like before we make a start. So you can see here, the inlet's off, I've just pulled that off quickly. Supercharger was already off as it came in. Uh, most of the front of the engine's off to be honest, so it'll just be a case of taking the rocker cover off, coils, well coil pack and all the HT leads, exhaust manifold down the back there. Obviously engine mounts, covers off the side to get the chain out, support the engine and obviously once the chain's off, then cam off and all that out, and then we'll be lifting the head off is the first thing. Then we'll probably send it up in the air, drop the sump off, and then we'll be able to access the rod bolts to get the pistons and rods out to replace the rings. So back over here, we've got all the stuff I've just shown you. Um, I'll just read off the list. So service the charger is the first, well, not the first thing, but one thing we're gonna carry out. Um, fit the head and the inlet manifold needs tidying up. That is somewhere, I think it's under that bench over there, yep. We need to fit the Newman cam. I think this is the phase two cam uh, with the ARP bolt, which I'm pretty sure is inside there. Replace the big end bearings, which are there. Fit the Drunkard Works injectors, fit the Drunkard Works ECU and the ignition barrel, which is, I think, still in the boot of the car. Um, fit the Aranja induction kit, which is there, fit the stainless rocker bolts, which are there, timing chain kit, which is all there, brand new, replace the fuel filter, swap the plaque over on the rocker cover, because it's a JCW head now, so that needs swapping for the standard mini one. Um, and then it's having a new uh, aircon condenser and a fan pack along with the crank pulley, which most of this, you've got to take off the car anyway. When you're taking the head off, you take most of this off. So it's just basically a case of removal and then refit with the new parts. So I'll put on a bit of a time lapse now while I start taking the head off and then the sump.
So just jumping in for a quick update of where we're at now. We've managed to get the cam cover off. So that includes the coil pack and all the HT leads. We've got the thermostat off now, just pulled off out of the way. Um, you've also got the air comrade and the crash bar off. And then we've just pulled the exhaust manifold off as you've seen in the other clips. So that's all loose now and free. So next up, we'll be taking the engine mount off, supporting the engine, um, and then pulling the side off the engine to access, crank bully off first, pull that off, uh, cam sensor, and all of that lot out. Then it'll be chain off, head bolts, um, and lift the head off. So welcome back, we've now got the head off the car. As you can see, so we've got this support here, just supporting the engine, that's so when we send it up, the engine will be supported because there's obviously no engine mounts on it. All the timing gear is now off. That's all the old stuff, it's all in one piece, which is a good sign. Um, should be no hidden surprises with it really. So we'll send it up now, uh, pull the sump off, and then undo the rod bolts and push the pistons up out the top. Welcome back, we've now got the sump removed with all the rods undone and pushed up and out. Um, they're now on the, on the floor on this card here. So they're all in order and marked. You'll see the clips of them coming out before this. We've um, re-honed all the bores, put the cross hatching back in. So deglaze them ready for the new rings, which are here. So yeah, we're just gonna fit the piston rings now. And um, yeah, we'll be back with a clip of that.
So as you've just seen in the last clip, we've just put the pistons and rods back in with new piston rings, Hepalite piston rings and King rod bearings. As you can see here, this is the old box. Well, the box. So yeah, that's basically a good point now to finish this episode. Stay tuned and episode two, we'll cover putting the head back on, sump back on. It's gonna have a baffled sump and new fluids and yeah, we'll build it up from there. So stay tuned, make sure you subscribe and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.